If you get a hold of this jackpot counter, you win £10,000. It sounds simple, but today's players are about to learn that it's easier said than done. Right here on Tipping Point. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Lorraine, a charity support worker from Warrington. I'm Jim, a customer service advisor from the West Midlands. And I'm Hannah, a receptionist from Bedfordshire. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So do keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Hands yep. on your buzzers. It comes your first question. In the poem commonly known as "Twas the Night Before Christmas," which of Santa's reindeer has a name beginning with P? Hannah. Prancer. It is Prancer. Yes. Nicely done, Hannah. So you can make the first choice. Would you like to play or pass? I would like to pass to Jim, please. Jim. Okay. <laughs> Let's launch the machine. Where should we go with the first counter, Jim? Drop zone four, please. Ladder, drop zone four, please. When you're ready, Jim, let's get your first one in. Let's see if we can get anything out. Drops nicely there. And then coming over the top shelf. Yeah, a couple there for you, Jim. Are they going to regret this? <laughs> <laughs> let's find out. No, it was a good pass in the end, Hannah. Sadly, nothing from your first drop, Jim. You've still got two counters left. OK. Here's your next question. In 2021, Maya Jama became a regular panellist on which ITV2 comedy panel show hosted by Keith Lemon? Hannah. Celebrity Juice. Yes, it is Celebrity Juice. You're going to play this time, Hannah? I will. And I'll also go and drop zone four, please, Ben. All right, four, please. Here we go, then, Hannah. Let's see. Jim's just set that tipping point up. Slams down a bit further right. What do you think, Hannah? I think I like it. We'll see. see. Oh, yes, the mystery slides off the top shelf as well. I'd say it's a lovely start. Well done. Thanks. Seven counters. So £350. Let's take that and put it into your bank, Hannah. Brilliant. It gets you off the mark. With £350, you've still got two counters left. Here's your next question. In which game do competitors use a small plastic disc called a squidger to propel other discs into a pot? Hannah. Tiddlywinks? It is Tiddlywinks, yes. I didn't know they were called squidgers. Neither did I. It was a guess. <laughs> yeah. It's a good guess and worth going for. Hannah, do you want to play or would you like to pass? I would like to play drop zone four again, please. Let's have four again for Hannah, please. So we can get that double moving forward. The mystery's on the bottom shelf now. Ooh, really hectic draw. Yeah. Is it going to fill a gap? Yeah, just... Fills that shelf. Nothing more, I'm afraid, Hannah. You're down to your last county now. Mm -hmm. Here's your next question, guys. The former major highway, famously known as Route 66, ran through which country? Lorraine. USA. Yes, it is America. Well done, Lorraine. Thank you. Now, would you like to play or would you like to pass? Um, I'll play drop zone four, please. Drop zone four for Lorraine. Top shelf working for you, Lorraine. Hannah's just left some sort of towards the left of centre. Oh, a bit further right this time. Is that going to get anything over the top shelf? Tight on the right. Yes. Oh, the double's going to get a little action. Is it going to get to draw? No, but three counters do go in there for you, Lorraine. Well done. Let's give you £150. Gets you off the mark. Let's put it into your bank. And you've still got two counters to play. Here's your next question. In the title of the 1958 rock and roll song by Little Richard, which two words follow good golly? Jim. Miss Molly. Yeah, well done, Jim. 
Now, would you like to play, Jim, or would you like to pass? I'll try drops on four again. More action for four, please. Ooh, Jim. Ooh, have you got away with that? You've got your timing back to front there, Jim. <laughs> it is flat, though. You're OK. So, there's a nice little cluster, isn't there, between three and four, Jim? Yep. Let's see if you can get it. Working. Can we get you in the game? Three counters and you'll catch the rain. Two sneak across to the points. Okay. Just shy of the rain, but £100 nonetheless. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And you've still got one counter left to play. Here's your next question. Just keep an eye on it. That black counter's dropped. Nothing else goes. OK, here's your next question. In cricket, what is the name of the two horizontal pieces of wood laid across the top of the three stumps? Lorraine. Bales. They are bales, yes. Now then, Lorraine, are you going to play one of your counters? Yes, please. Drop some ball, please. Four it is. Yeah, nice. Hard on the right again for you, Lorraine. Mm -hmm. I like that side for you. Let's see if that double's going to get a little sniff. Could be good if you get it. And you do get it. Well done. Four across the tipping point, which is £200. And, of course, we can double that up because the double dropped in and give you another £200. And that £400 right there, Lorraine, when we put it into your bank, is going to put you in the lead. Thank you. £550, and you've still got one more counter to play. Mm -hmm. Here's your next question. The White Star Line was a British shipping company that owned and operated which luxury passenger liner? Hannah. The Titanic. That sank in 1912. Yes, it was the Titanic, Hannah, yeah. Right, you're going to play your last one? I am, and I'm going to go drop zone three and try and get it to the right to hit that big clump. Fire three up, please. Down the right would be nice. So it goes down the left. Yep, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get some action on that double there, little nudge. Ooh, three over the top <sighs> shelf. Could still work, though, Hannah. And three sneak <sighs> out. Got some of the clump. Let's give you £150 for those three. Put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on £500. You have now used all three counters, Hannah, so for the time being, you are out. Right, Jim and Lorraine, it's just you left in. You've both got one counter left to play each. OK. Here's your next question. Author of the 2021 memoir, Beautiful Things, Hunter Biden is the son of which US president? Jim. Joe Biden? Yes. Right, Jim, you're going to play your last counter, or would you like Lorraine to play hers? Um, I think I'll play it. Drop zone three, please. Drop zone three it is. One black count on the right is very close to going, isn't it? That's better timing, Jim. Bang on there. Is it going to fill a gap? Can we get the silver ones through the middle over? Yes, just. Anything to add to your £100? Oh, yeah, well done. Five Thanks. counters. Slide into the win zone. £250. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on £350. That's all three of your counters used now, Jim, so for the time being, you are out. Thank you. Lorraine, it's just you left in. You don't need your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last counter into the machine. Here we go, then, Lorraine. Shabu Shabu is a hot pot dish consisting of thinly sliced meat and vegetables originating from which Asian country? Um, Japan. It is Japan, yes. Well done. <laughs> Let's just keep an eye on this. Oh! Sadly, just had a little ambient drop in drop zone four. We've had to void those counters from the machine. The mystery counter has gone back in, though, where it came out. So, Lorraine, you got that question right, so you've got one last counter to put into the machine. Where should we put it? Drop zone three, because there's a couple hanging over. Yeah, down that left-hand yeah. side looks good. Fire up three, please. <laughs> ah! Just emptied that side. Maybe take that slide around in four. Yes, that's down. A couple more. The mystery might get a little nudge. It does. Oh, oh <laughs> not quite enough, I'm afraid. So, sadly, nothing from your final counter, but at the end of the round, Lorraine is leading with £550, just ahead of Hannah, who has £500, and Jim, who has £350. So, join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head to head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit.
Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Lorraine, Jim and Hannah are battling out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Lorraine, you are just ahead of Hannah, but that £50 is crucial because it means you get to choose. Would you like to play first? Do you think the machine is ready? Or would you like Jim or Hannah to play? I would like to pay first, please. OK, first 45 seconds for you, Lorraine. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, OK? 45 seconds for Lorraine, please. Your time starts now. Who Do You Think You Are is a 1997 UK number one single by the British pop group The Spice What? Girls. Correct. A water polo match is typically divided into how many quarters? Four. Correct. Which sportswear company makes a football boot called the Mercurial Vapor? Uh, Adidas. No. <laughs> Hannibal Rising is a 2006 thriller novel by which writer? Uh, pass. Thomas Harris. A herbal infusion made from dried flowers and hot water. Chamomile is a non-caffeinated variety of which beverage? Tea. Correct. The famous Socky Hall Street is located in the centre of which Scottish city? Edinburgh. Glasgow. The TV characters Susie Birchall and Leanne Battersby have both worked as barmaids in which fictional pub? Rovers uh, Return. <laughs> Lorraine, I can't accept that, I'm afraid. You started to say Cory, and of course it was Rover's return. You got there in the end, but we have to accept the first thing you said, and Cory wasn't a correct answer. No so I'm afraid it's uh, three that you got right, which isn't too bad. Uh, yeah. Regardless, three counters put into the machine. Where would you like to start, Lorraine? I think I'd start with three because, well, the double hanging over. So yes, it is on the left. That. Fire up three, please. Yes, not too far from the double. Let's see if we can get something over the top shelf. Good squeeze. Yeah, nice. Oh, they can spread nicely as well, Lorraine. Oh, lovely. Good start. Four counters for you there. That's £200. You're on your way. Let's put that into the machine. Two more to go in, Lorraine. Where should we go next? Um, try three again, please. We're going to hit drop zone three again, please. What can we get this time? Top shelf's getting a little bit more sparse. Is that far enough? Ooh. What do you think, Lorraine? Might just get something over Silver the Silver oh. down. Oh. Now, the tipping point's a bit empty. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Ooh, Ooh. lovely. Well done. Oh. <laughs> Another four for you, including the one that jumped out of the machine, Lorraine. Well done. Another £200. £400 you've got so far. And we've got one more to put in. I think I'll stick in drop zone three, please. Stay in with three. Work mm. nicely up till now. Mm -hmm. Five up drop zone three, please. Top shelf's looking a bit sketchy, isn't it? Mm. But still a few hanging here and there. A bit further yeah, right this time. That's better. Is that better? Mm. OK, let's see what's coming over the top shelf. Anything? Just. There's a couple on the edge. They skid forward. And that's another three for you, Lorraine. So not mm -hmm. too bad at all. Another £150. Takes you to £550. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And that's going to leave you £1,100. Right then, Hannah, we come to you now. You are ahead of Jim, so it's your choice. You can choose to play next if you fancy it. Alternatively, if you think the machine's a little bit empty, you could ask Jim to try and fill it up for you. I think I'm going to play. OK, 45 seconds for Hannah, please. Your time starts now. In timekeeping, the term half past is used to refer to how many whole minutes after a particular hour? 30. Correct. Altostratus is a form of what floating weather formation? Past. Cloud. Considered to be the world's oldest working lighthouse, the Tower of Hercules is located in which European country? Greece. Spain. First published in 2017, Get Fit, Get Happy is a book by which drummer? Pass. Harry Judd. Which famous fictional spy is played by Sean Connery in the 1971 James film? Bond. Correct. Which city in the West Midlands is served by an airport with the international code BHX? Pass. Birmingham. In the Shakespeare play, A Midsummer Night's Dream, who is the Queen of the Fairies? Tanya. Correct. Which English philosopher, statesman and author was also known as the first Viscount St Alban? Pass. Francis Bacon. Oh, Hannah, Hannah. Three correct answers. So you match Lorraine, three for three. You got your James Bond question very quickly. I'll just give you the rest of the question. Which famous fictional spy is played by Sean Connery in the 1971 film Diamonds Are Forever? And, of course, you were spot on with James Bond. Let's see if we can get you some money and see if you can close the gap on the rain. Where okay. would you like to start? Drop zone four, please. OK. I'm going to aim for that mystery and that silver that's been hanging on. Let's see if we can get it. Drop zone four, please. Down the left. Yeah, 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 nice. That could do it. There's a couple on the edge that that's looked... pretty much where I wanted it. 
ready to be picked oh. off. No, they aren't. Uh... Maybe it wasn't where I wanted them. <laughs> <laughs> Two more to go, Hannah. I'm going to stick with drop zone four. Four again. Down the left again. Come on, machine. Stop there, stop there. Oh. oh. Oh, no, please don't ride. You don't want to ride her. That's exactly what you've got, Hannah. Oh, no, oh. shocking. Three correct answers, three counts put into the machine. Two of them have gone in, nothing's come out. We really need something here, Hannah. OK, I'm going to stick with drop zone four. Four again. I filled up that top shelf enough. Hopefully it'll give me something now. Need it on the left. Mm -hmm. If you can get that stash over on the left, it could be OK. Stop that. Yes, that's better. Okay. Nice quick drop. Now, give us something over the top shelf, maybe something into three as well. Come on now. We could do with that extra one. Gonna squeeze. Yes, we managed to get it. Three counts did drop for you though, Hannah. So let's give you £150 for those three. Take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's gonna leave you on £650. One of them, of course, is a mystery prize, which is a cookery lesson with a professional chef, plus three months of live stream cook alongs, courtesy of Anne's Smart School of Cookery. Amazing, I'm a terrible cook, so. This is great news, <laughs> Hannah. Not anymore, that's gonna change. Yes. Uh, that's gonna leave you on £650 as well. Right, Jim, we come to you. Your turn. 45 seconds for Jim, please. The time starts now. The rumba is a popular style of ballroom dance traditionally performed by how many people? Uh, two. Correct. Pet Shop Boy singer Neil and former Doctor Who actor David both share what surname? Tennant. Correct. Bishop Thorpe Palace is the official residence of the Archbishop of where? Canterbury. York. During the London Olympics in 2012, which Conservative MP held the unofficial title of Olympics Secretary? Boris Johnson. Jeremy Hunt. The KFC Philip Burger is made from the meat of which small farm animal? Chicken. Correct. In 1934, American gangster Al Capone was sent to which maximum security prison? Um, Alcatraz. Correct. Rickets is a condition often caused by a deficiency of which major vitamin found in fish oils and egg yolk? D. Jim, that is correct. And you just managed to squeeze it in by the skin of your teeth <laughs> just before the buzzer. So that's five correct answers. Well done. Thank you. Five counters put into the machine. Your challenge is to try and catch Hannah. At the moment, she's six counters ahead of you. So where would you like to start? OK, I think I will go for drop zone two, please. Fire up two, please. First time we've been into two. There's plenty in there. And you've got five counters. Try and shift some as well. Couple over the top. Mystery's going to get a little nudge. One sneaks in. Let's give you okay. £50 for that one. You're on your way, Jim. Four more to go. Stay in with drop zone two. Yes, please. Two again, please. Similar spot, settles well. Well, you've got that black counter in four's gone as well. It's finally dropped. That can add something if it goes. Oh, oh my God. It did. <laughs> and that's a big one there, Jim. Sadly, I'm afraid, Hannah, that means we're going to lose you at the end of the round. It's another nine across the tipping point for you, Jim. Another £450. So up to £500 in the machine. Where would you like to go next? I'll stick to number two, please. Stop saying two again. So we've got three more counters to go in, Jim, so you can certainly close that gap. And the mystery's right on the edge. Ooh, slower drop, wasn't it? Lots of ricochets. Might move that double down with a bit of lateral. Flat. Yeah. It is flat. Might take a little nudge on it. Oh no, it just shuffles the shelf. OK, nothing from that one. Stay with two. Yes, please. Drop into again. Now, what's going to happen here? It's going to fill a gap, but it might take those pair out in the middle. Oh, there you go. That's a double down. And a fair few others as well. This could be big. Three more, Jim. Another £150. You're creeping closer to Lorraine. Takes you up to £650 in the machine. One of them is a mystery prize as well. You've won yourself a 12-month technology gift box subscription courtesy of the Gadget Discovery Club. That's great, thank you very much. Great stuff. One more count to put in, Jim. You OK. Need two more out to catch the rain. I'll stick to number two, please. Drop zone two again. 
set that tipping point up very nicely indeed, all the way along two and into three. Just that one gap on the bottom shelf. Now, is it going to fill a gap when it comes over? Is it going to go? Yeah. To see the gap there? Is it going to be enough? Just a little nudge? That'll be just enough to sneak you into the lead. Three more for you there, Jim. Another 150 pounds. And that'll leave you on 800 pounds in the machine. When we put that into your bank, we can see just how close it is. But you are now leading. Jim is in first with 1,150 pounds just ahead of Lorraine, who has 1,100 pounds. Hannah, I'm so sorry, but that means with 650 pounds, we have found a tip point. Of course, you have won your cookery lesson, Hannah. Yeah. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you. It's been a great day. Lovely to meet you. So it's Lorraine and Jim who will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, though, for your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £30,000, go to the website. Entries cost £2. Text WIN to 65433. Text cost £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 433. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP2212, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. Monday week. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where just two players remain, Lorraine and Jim. Very well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. Jim, you just snuck into the lead at the end of the last round. So you've got a bit of work to do, Lorraine, but the way that machine is set up with that double on the bottom shelf there of drop zone three, kind of on the edge of two, this could go either way. Jim, I'm detecting an accent. You're not originally from the UK, are you? No, I'm originally from Belgium, okay. but I've been in the UK for more than 20 years already. So you've never made it back home? You've stayed here with us in the Absolutely. UK? Absolutely, yeah. And how, really how, enjoying it. how do your friends back home think about your accent? Do they think that you're losing your Belgium <laughs> accent, or are they saying you're turning into <laughs> no, a No, no, I've still got the regional twang. You've got a regional twang? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they speak French and they speak Flemish in Belgium, all right? Correct, yes. Yeah? So and I'm from the Flemish part. You're from from the north. Which is a bit like Dutch, am I right yes, in saying that? Yes, yeah, it's the same language, basically. So you Just speak... Regional variances. English, French, and Dutch as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Little insight, Lorraine. Is there any French Dutch questions? Yeah, he's probably going to know what he's talking about. <laughs> just so you know. Well, look, good luck, yeah. Jim. You've Thank worked you. our machine very nicely, just snuck okay. into the lead. Lorraine, congratulations. I understand you've just become a grandmother for the second time. Yes, yeah. How old are your grandchildren now? Uh, four and a half and nearly four weeks. Nearly four weeks. How's it going? Oh, lovely. Yeah. I bet you love great. it, don't you? I do. I do. My mum always said being a grandparent's like being a parent just with extra sugar. <laughs> For the kids, usually. My two boys adore her for that. Well, fingers crossed. I'm sure they'll be very proud of you up till now. I'm sure Granny's done a great job. If you can close that gap, you could be playing for our jackpot. Thank right. you. So best of luck. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately on your question. You can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put okay. the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. You are just ahead, Jim, so you can choose. You can take the first question, or you could offer it to Lorraine. I'll play. OK, first question for you, Jim. Five Good Reasons to Stay Single was a tagline for which 1994 film written by Richard Curtis? You can play or pass this to Lorraine if you're not sure. Is it Love Actually? OK, you're going straight in with Love Actually. Lorraine, what would you have said? Love Actually or something else? I don't think I, I knew, actually. You don't think you knew? <laughs> no. Right then, Jim, you could have passed this over. Love Actually, certainly a Richard Curtis film, but was the tagline Five Good Reasons to Stay Single? Is the answer Love Actually? No, it was four weddings and a funeral. Oh, four yes. weddings and a funeral. Love actually was from 2003 as well, so it's considerably later. So, Lorraine, Jim gifts you that first counter. <laughs> wow. Where should we put it, Lorraine? Drop zone two. Yeah. Please. Let's try two, please. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what do we think? Oh, Is that going to do well, it? Well, might not. Top shelf's no. a bit sketchy, isn't it? Yeah. So, fortunately, Jim, no damage done. Lorraine, you keep control, though. Time for your first question. In 2020, NASA's Perseverance rover set off for Mars, carrying a piece of an aeroplane flown by which pioneering pair of brothers? You can play this or you can pass it to Jim if you're not sure. I think I might know. Right. I'm going to have a try. You're going to go for this one? OK. What are you going to say? The Wright brothers. You're going with the Wright brothers. Jim, if Lorraine had passed this to you, did you have any ideas? I didn't know the answer straight away, but now she mentions the Wright brothers. I'm thinking it could be true. All right, let's see 
If Lorraine is correct, you get another counter. Is the answer the right brothers? Yes, <laughs> it is the right brothers. They took a bit of the wing up there to Mars. Amazing stuff, isn't it? Okay. So, Lorraine, let's put a counter into the machine. Right. Drop zone two again, please. Let's do it. Drop zone two. We need something over that top shelf. Is that going to do it? Not sure. No! Oh. Agonisingly close, Lorraine. Oh. Put both counters in, nothing has come out. So the score stays, they work. Jim, we come back to you. Time okay. for your second question. Published in 2019, the autobiography, Bowl, Sleep, Repeat, Inside the World of England's Greatest Ever Bowler, is by which cricketer? You can pass this to Lorraine if you're not sure. I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> you're not into your cricket, Jim? <laughs> No, don't follow it. That's the one part of our <laughs> culture and heritage that you haven't taken I know. to. Yeah. <laughs> right, Lorraine. Oh, I can only think of Freddie Flintoff. It's probably not him, but that's the only one I can think of. Got to give me something. Have you heard of Freddie Flintoff, Jim? I have, yes. You have? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You didn't know because you're not really into your cricket. Let's yeah. see. Lorraine, have you got the right answer? Is it Freddie Flintoff? No, no. Jimmy Anderson. I wouldn't have known. Wouldn't have got it? Okay. Yeah. Jim, well done. You get the counter. OK. Where do you want to go? We'll go for drop zone two, please. Has to be, doesn't it? Fire up two. I think you need be Jimmy Anderson to bowl these counters out. Come on now. Surely this is the one that sends something over the top shelf. Oh, just. Are they going to go on the bottom? Yes, they are. All <laughs> connected, weren't they? 12 counters, wow. Jim. Wow. £600. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That extends your lead considerably to £1,750. Right then, Lorraine. That double count is going to be crucial now. Time for your second question. According to the Oxford English Corpus, what is the most commonly used word in the English language? I think I will have a go. Right, OK. I'm going to say... the. Go with the? OK. Jim, what would you have said? I would have gone for A. You might have gone with A. Okay. OK, let's see. Is the most commonly used word in the English language the? It is indeed. Well done, Lorraine. Wow. You worked that brilliantly. For example, we used it three times in that question, so it is a, <laughs> a very popular word, and you wow. managed to get the right answer. So, where do you want to go? I think we'll go for drop zone one. Well, let's try drop zone yeah. one. Fire it up, please. on its edge. We definitely need that flax. We need to start getting some counters here, Lorraine. It is. Can we take out some of Jim's lead here? Nice, OK. Could we get a couple coming? Mm. Three. <laughs> Three drop across the tipping point. £150. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to put you on £1,250. Right, we come back to you, Jim. Time for your third and final question. What name is shared by a pre-decimal British coin and the present-day currency of Uganda? I really don't know the answer, so I think I'm going to pass this one to you. This would be a tricky one for you, Jim, I think. Yeah. Unless you knew the currency of Uganda. However, for Lorraine, it might be a little bit easier. What are you thinking, right. Lorraine? I'm thinking it could be a shilling. I think I'll go with shilling. Shilling. Jim, have you heard of a shilling before? I have, yes. You've heard of a shilling? I was thinking, you know, like, a farthing or...? Yes, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I really wasn't sure, so okay. that's why I've passed it. Let's go, Lorraine, see if you're right. We could do with stealing this. Is the answer a shilling? It is shilling. Well done, Lorraine. <laughs> Just what you needed, a steal at that stage. Oh. So now we're looking for ten counters. You're slowly chipping away. There's potentially two more to go in. This one, and then one more question. What should we do? Drop zone one, please. One again. Settles nicely. Mm. Might move those Not counts enough. in two. It does. And one. Can we get here? Uh, oh. Just the one that sneaks <laughs> in. £50, though, we'll take it. Let's put it into your bank, Lorraine. It's going to put you on £1,300. You keep control as well. Time for your third and final question. In 2021, which American singer released a re-recorded version of her Grammy award-winning album, Fearless? 
not sure I would know this, so I think I'm going to have to pass. Passing over. Jim, does this ring any bells for you? I'm thinking maybe Beyonce, or I'm thinking Taylor Swift. I'm going to go with Taylor Swift. Going with Taylor Swift, OK. What do you reckon, Lorraine, Taylor Swift? I don't know. You Could didn't know? Could have been Madonna or... Could have been, anybody. OK. I don't know. Let's see if you're right, Jim. If you are, it's a great answer, and it means you're playing for a jackpot. If you're wrong, Lorraine's got one last crack in the machine. Is the answer Taylor Swift? It is. Wow. <laughs> really good answer, well Jim. Done. Her third UK number one album in less than a year. And that answer there means that you're definitely playing for our jackpot. So very well done. Lorraine, I'm afraid we're going to lose you at the end of the round. Okay. One more count if you hear then, Jim. Where should we put it? I'm going to try and drop zone two, please. Drop zone two it is. Yeah. Nice drop over there. Might get those two down that might shove the double forward a touch. Sure, we might get nothing. Oh. That black count is right on the verge, but I think it's just being held. So nothing more to add, but you've done all the hard work, Jim, because with £1,750, very well done you are today's Thank winner. Thank you very much. Congratulations well to you. Uh, Lorraine, I'm so sorry you've been lovely, but I'm afraid with £1,300, you have found it. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Thank you. It's been a lovely day. It's been really Thank lovely you. to meet you. So, Jim, as our champion in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. This one is bigger and better than all the others, because if you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Jim master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now, though, for your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £30,000, go to the website. Entries cost £2. Text WIN to 65433. Text cost £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 433. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP2212, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. Monday week. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Jim is our winner today, has managed to get £1,750. Very well done to you, Jim. Thank you. There was Thank that you. one big drop in that last round that did it. Very lucky. Very important that you got that one, because here you are, about to take on the machine for our jackpot today. Uh, what would you like to do with the money if we were to get the jackpot counter out, Jim? I'd love to go on a, a cruise around Scandinavia. Yes. Because um, I've been watching TV series, you know, like The Killing yeah, and yeah, Morgan. Yeah. All that Scandi drama. Exactly. And um, I think it'd be really nice to just go and visit some of those locations and you know, some cities like oh. Copenhagen and Stockholm, they're really beautiful, so I'd love to go and Amazing part have of the a world. little, you know... Go and have a fondue as well, yeah. have a fondue over there. <laughs> well, look, I'll tell you what, if we can get that jackpot counter out, it would be a really lovely thing to be able to go and do. So, fingers crossed we get you the money, Jim, okay. and you can go off on that fabulous cruise. Best Thank of you. luck. Thank you very much. Time to find out whether Jim's going to win our jackpot today. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just need to get it out again. Okay. If you want to go home with £20,000, so you can get to drop with the double that's sitting there on the bottom shelf of Drop Zone 3. Okay. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. Yep. For each category, you can choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question's going to be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. We do need to put the jackpot counter into the machine, so what are your tactics with this? And I'm thinking it might be safer to go for one of the sides. Sure. And I think Drop Zone 1 looks pretty good anyway, so I think I'll go for that one. Drop Zone 1 it is. See what we can do. It looks very full as well, doesn't it? It's not yeah. been used a lot. Oh, nice spot. Let's see as this goes forward. Is it going to stay near the edge? Slides a bit more central. That's okay. Only been used twice till now, so there's a lot of money here. Two counts dropping straight off the bat. Let's okay. give you £100 for those two. £1,850, jackpot counter, nice and flat, left of centre of drop zone one. Let's yep. have a look at your categories then, Jim. This is what we have for you. Film, sport, nature, fashion, politics and music. OK. You play them in any order you like, so where would you like to start for how many? I think I'll get the difficult one out of the way for me. OK. Um, so I'll start with sport for one, please. Sport for one? Yep. All right, we're going to go sport for one counter. Which annual horse race was previously known as the Grand Liverpool Steeplechase? The Grand National, the Derby or the St Ledger? Um, I'm going to try the Grand National. You're going to go with the Grand National? OK, right should on. we light it up? Yep. We're going with the Grand National. The Grand Liverpool Steeplechase. Was that the original name for the Grand National? 
Yeah, of course it was. Well done. It's still racing Aintree as well up that part of the world. Right. Drop zone one? Absolutely. Fire up one, please. Ooh, it's not far off. Could have done with it going flat, though, couldn't we? Yeah. I think we'll be OK. Yes. Yes. Might just shift the jackpot to the right a touch. I hope to take a bit of the weight out in front of it. There you go, yes. Those okay. three go across the top. That's a nice little drop. Six counters, so 300 pounds. Let's put that in. It takes up to 2,150 pounds. Only the one counter. So let's go back to the categories. Where would you like to go next? I will try nature. OK, nature for how many? Um, two, please. Nature for two. Named for its exterior colour, the olive ridley is what type of sea creature? Lobster shark or turtle? Based on colour and texture, I would go turtle. OK. Don't know for sure if it is a guess, but I'm going to go for turtle. Should go turtle? Yeah. We're going to light up turtle, please. It's named that because of its exterior colour. Thinking of those three creatures, you think the turtle is the closest to that oh, yeah, that we've known. So. Yeah. Let's see if you're right. Is it turtle? Yeah. It's the most abundant of all the sea turtles. OK. Great answer. Well done. Good job, turn one. Yes, please. Thank you. Power up one, please. Come on, let's get some movement on the jackpot. Mm. Hey, that doesn't mm. want to settle. And you get that mystery forward if it does. Yes, it does. Now, can we take those two that are just dangling over the edge? There we go. OK. Not bad. And then you come in here. Nice. We'll take those three. Yep. £150, takes us up to £2,300 in the machine. And one more to go in. Top zone one? Yes, please. Light it up. Steady. Oh, nice. We're getting either side of it, aren't we? <laughs> but not actually on it. That's frustrating. Okay. okay. Hopefully, get a couple here. Let's do the... Oh, we're just shifting the bottom shelf. Okay. Not to worry, money's gone up a little bit. Jackpot count is still sitting there, waiting for a bit more action. Let's go yeah. back to the categories then, Jim. OK. So, where would you like to go next? I'll try politics for one, please, Ben. One? Yeah. OK, we're going to go politics for one this time. In US politics, what title is typically given to a person who has been elected as president but has not yet taken office? OK. President-elect, president-in-waiting, president-to-be. Do you follow American politics much? Well, I watch the news and sort of I'm pretty up to date with it. So you followed um, the last election that we had? Yes, yeah, yeah exactly. So there's been a lot of um, reporting on that. So the term has been used quite frequently, I'd say. So um, I'm going to go for president-elect. President-elect, yeah. let's load it up, please. If you've been elected but you're yet to take office, are you known as the president-elect? Yeah, absolutely. And typically, it's two months between the election and the inauguration. OK, so yeah. So they're quite a long time waiting. Okay. Right, Jim, another one counter? Yeah, we'll stick to drop to on one, Ben. Let's have one. Ah! Very, very close. Very, very close. Nice, though. Squeeze those two. Let's see if we can get one here. OK. Yes, one drops in. That gives us £50. Pounds. Let's add it in. £2,350. Not getting at that jackpot counter, though, frustratingly, Jim. We are halfway. We have film, fashion and music left to go. Of those okay. three, are we getting to sort of your more confident...? Yeah, more comfortable with those categories. OK. Um, I will try fashion for two, then, please. All right, we're yeah. going fashion for two. Known for its luxury shopping outlets and celebrity residence, Rodeo Drive is located in which city of Los Angeles County? Beverly Hills, Malibu or Pasadena? Ever been to Rodeo Drive? I haven't. I'd love to go. Um, but it's obviously something that's mentioned a lot in movies and, um, and reports. So I'm pretty confident with this one. And I'm going to go for Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills? Mm -hmm. We're going to light up Beverly Hills, please. If you're driving down Rodeo Drive, would you be in Beverly Hills? Yes. Well done. Yep. Two miles of the most glamorous shops that there are. <laughs> Amazing place. Right. 
Drop zone one. Yes, please. Line yeah. it up, please. Come on, Jim, let's get that jackpot moving. Go on! Oh, Jim. Maybe get the mystery down. Fingers crossed. And the oh, black okay. counter's yeah, gone for two. <laughs> this might be a nice drop, actually. Yes, it is. Lovely Good. drop. Well yeah. done. Nine counters, £450. Takes us up to £2,800. Money's going up very Beautiful. nicely, yeah. Jim. One more to go in. Drop uh, some money again. Drop one, please. Yeah. Light it up. Back. Oh, there we go. Yes. Fingers crossed this time. That's the one. Yeah. Took a nice rebound and we've got it moving, Jim. Uh, there we go. That's it. Lovely. And then. Okay, so. Okay. Bottom shelf looking good again. We've got the jackpot counter moving. We're down to our last two categories. So we have film and we have music. Okay. Um, I'll go for music and I'll try two counters. Music for two? Yeah. We're going with music for two, please. In what year did the Beatles split up? <laughs> I didn't want that face, Jim. 1960, 1965 and 1970. Now, what do you know about the Beatles? They were very popular, obviously, in the early 60s. So that would make me think they split up in 65 because they didn't sort of, you know, have a long career together. So I'm going to go for 1965. Go 65? Yeah. We're going to go in 1965. So you feel like they were very popular early 60s, relatively quick in terms of music career. Yeah. For a but band then it all so... sort of, you know, got into a solo yeah, of course, course, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did, of course. Did the Beatles split up in 1965? 70. 70. Yeah. yeah. They did stop touring in 1966. OK. 1970 was when eventually they did split up. Yeah. yeah. Right, not what we needed, Jim. Not okay. what we needed at okay. all. I fancied our chance with the music question, but film. How is your film knowledge? you like films? It, yes, I love films. OK. Um, go to the cinema a lot. Um, but the result of the previous question makes me uh, a little bit more... Nervous. ...uncertain. What do you think we need now to get that anywhere near? I know. Do you know what? I'm not a risk taker, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for two. Two? Yeah, I'll go for two. All right, yeah. film for two, please. Which of these films does not star Will Smith? I, Robot, With Nell and I, or I Am a Legend? Okay. I've seen Will Smith's movies that are listed there, so I'm pretty sure I can exclude the other option. So, Will Smith was not in With Nail and I. Have you seen With Nail and I? No. It's one for your list. Light up With Nail and I, please. Pretty sure we've got this one. Will Smith, did he not star in With Nail and I? Paul McGann and Richard E. Grant. Yeah. Right, we got ourselves two counters, so two okay. chances. Maybe to get the jackpot counter down and close, who knows? We'll stick to drop zone one anyway. Drop zone one it is. That's Come bang on, on it, isn't it? Steady, settle, 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 settle. Yes. Now. <laughs> Squeeze it can forward. It be done? I think you can, yeah, you can, you can. You certainly can. Yeah, okay. You certainly get close. Settles nicely there. Yeah. Lovely. Nice drop. Six counters for you there. 300 pounds. Takes over 3,000, which is lovely. Up to 3,100. One more to go in. Drop someone. One again, please. How close can we get this? Mm, now, if that silver counter comes over, which it might, it might. Oh, no, it won't. Lined up nicely behind it. OK, so we're out of questions, we're out of categories. You've got £3,100, but it's not over, Jim. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with £10,000. OK. As things stand, you've got 3100 You can walk away with that right now or you could trade it for three final counters to put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, nothing else has any value. You keep your mystery price, but you leave with £10,000 or nothing at all. You've already told me you're not much of a risk taker <laughs> as we've been playing. Yeah, but uh, looking at it right now, I think it's just a bit too far away. So I'm very happy with £3,100 and I'm going to take it. OK, I'll ask you one last time. Would you like to take the money or the trade? OK, I'll take the money, please, Ben. Well done, Jim. Congratulations for leaving with £3,100. As you say, it's a lovely amount of yeah. money. Uh, the question is, of course, had you taken a few more risks along the way, would it be further? Or would these three counters 
get that jackpot into the wind zone. Yeah. Strange things have happened. So we're going to play it out, okay. see what might have happened. Yeah, brilliant. Let's see. Drop one. So that one's just going to fill a gap, isn't it? Drop two. It's oh, flat. It's flat. It's flat. Yeah. That could bring that silver one down. I wonder if it's going to stay on it and squeeze it forward. Keep driving it forward. Yeah, it does. It does. This was the third and final drop. Not there, though, I don't think. One more okay, goes okay. in. Yeah. No, didn't go in the end, so you made the right decision. You're leaving with £3,100, and of course, you've won your gadget subscription as well, Jim. Have you had a good time? I've had an amazing time. Thank you very much, Ben. Really, really impressed. You've been a great competitor as well. Thank well you very done. much. There you go, Jim's leaving with £3,100. Was very cautious with those questions in the end. I think if you'd taken a few more risks along the way, who knows, it might have gone. But do you know what? That's a lovely amount of money, and it's been great to play alongside him. Join us next time in the fate of three more players will hang the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. <laughs>